Okay, so next up uh, with this young lady, I believe it's a lady, uh, we're going to be starting to do some of these gold elements. And I'm going to start, the first layer I'm going to put on is medium rust. And I'm really just going to try and map out here where I think the sort of shiny areas are going to be. Now we're not going to worry if this is too rough because we're going to tidy it up later. But we just want to try and get the areas which we're going to build up. Now I'm not going to bother edge highlighting at this stage because I'm just literally going to map in blocks of colour. So it doesn't have to be neat and tidy at this stage. Obviously you don't want to go over the, what you've already painted. But we're trying to just get in these, these little blocks of where we're going to build shiny areas to. And then we'll come in afterwards with our yellowy colour, which will make it look more and more gold-like. But at this stage, it's important that we, when we map this out, I'm also thinking about the dark areas, which I want to leave. So I don't want to paint everything in this colour, because there's obviously going to be areas where we want that sort of dark shadowy effect on these golden areas. Alright then, so we've got all the colours mapped in now, all the areas mapped in with that medium rust. You see it's quite a nice orangey brownish colour. Works really well for gold. Now I'm going to go with one of my favourite colours for gold, which is volcanic yellow. So again, with, this is just straight out the bottle, um, thinned down a little bit, but the colour is as it comes out of the bottle. And now we're going to do pretty much the same, but we just want to map in slightly smaller areas. And we will edge highlight some of the areas as we go as well. We're not going to have to do every edge on this miniature because she's very small. But that's really what we're looking for is just to get those little shiny areas just a little bit brighter and a little bit yellowier. That's what's going to sell it as a gold got to have that sort of yellowish tone and I know you do get different golds you get more browny golds but there's still always going to be that sort of yellowy tint or color to it Okay guys, to finish this off now, pretty sure I'm happy with where all the, the actual golden bits are. So I'm now going to add pale yellow to the palette. And I've kept a little bit of the original yellow in there. And this time we just want to touch a few tiny little areas 
where we're going to go for like the maximum shine. And this colour, as you can see, has got it's got quite a bit of white in it. So it's going to come out very bright. But these areas that we paint with this need to be very small. So if you overdo this stage, it, it stops looking like gold. And it will just look like this whitish, well, not quite gold. So I tend to keep this layer very small. And just where I want those maximum the maximum shine spots and sometimes as you can see here it's almost just a little dot but it's enough to just give that shiny effect 